Okay, let's talk about this Apple Vision Pro nonsense. Now, the Apple Vision Pro is not designed to be a gaming headset. I understand that, it's just not. You don't play games on it, it's not like a Quest 3 or the, the Valve Index or anything like that. It's more or less just focused on being a media hub or whatever the heck it is. But I've been watching people with these things on outside of a couple of cool videos. I've seen like there was this one guy, for example, he was showing off exactly everything he'd do, right? He was wearing this thing in his house, which makes sense. He was wearing this thing in his house and he had different screens or different applications, kind of like web browsers and various things like that pinned in various parts of his house. So he'd like walk to his living room and the TV was pinned with a YouTube video or something playing. Then he had a grocery list on his fridge and then he had a news article or something he was reading over here and then his wife had something up and then it was pretty cool like having all these different things pinned in your house and he's wearing it around his house. Makes sense, right? But I draw the line <laughs> when I see people walking around in public with these things on, on the subway, driving their car. Let me show footage of that on screen right now just so you can see what this looks like. This dude was literally driving his car. His obviously uh, automatic, or not automatic, automated car, you know what I mean, that drives itself. But still, he's wearing this thing, doing all the things, you know, trying to like, you know, look at screens and what, it's freaking weird, man. It's weird because it almost felt like the end times. <laughs> I, know, I know that's dramatic, but it felt weird to see because I was, I don't know, it was, just, it was just odd to see people doing this in public, but they're not doing anything wrong. That's the design of the Apple Vision Pro is that you're supposed to be able to see what you're doing and be able to still interact with different things around you, like you're in a coffee shop, right? And instead of you having to look at your phone or look at your look at your phone, you're able to just wear your phone or whatever device you wanna wear. You would just wear it and then use it normally. And then if somebody comes up and talks to you, you could be like, oh yeah, hey, how you doing, you know? And it's just weird. Like, I don't wanna interact with somebody wearing a Vision Pro. I don't know why, like, could you imagine going on a first date or something like that and then you know, your date is wearing a Vision Pro and you're trying to talk to them or you're going out with your buddies or you're doing whatever or like everybody's watching a football game at the house sitting on the couch and they're wearing their Vision Pros and instead of like actually interacting with the TV and like being engaged with each other or they're engaged. I don't know. It's just it's just weird. It's just I don't know. It just sent shivers down my spine to see all this. Right. Or you're driving to a Lakers basketball game like I did last night uh, with your Vision Pros on and you're not even really, inter you're interacting with your spouse because you're like watching videos together. And I don't know, it's ugh, it's just weird. I don't I, I don't like it. it. It's weird, but now I, I, when, I, when they announced the Vision Pro and the price tag and everything like that, the price tag is absolutely ridiculous. I think they're overcharging for it like crazy. But now what I see Apple is trying to do, now that I understand what they're trying to do more specifically, I get it. <laughs> they're trying to basically, integrate these into people's lives so they can actually just wear these things all the time. They're walking in the park, they're driving their car, they're sitting at their desk. Instead of having to look at a screen, they're looking at their Vision Pro, you know? They're, I don't know, hanging out, hanging out with friends, whatever. That's what they're trying to do is they're trying to just make it a lifestyle and not just a device for viewing movies and things. They want you to be wearing this thing nonstop or basically nonstop because that's how people are starting to use it. They're starting to just walk around the streets with it, ride subway trains, drive their car, hang out with their friends, go to coffee shops. This is creepy, man. I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's weird. Seeing where we're going now with technology and what Apple has actually done, they've not only created another virtual reality headset, they've created almost a lifestyle. And I don't know, it just kind of bothers me.